my name is Emily, and we are building an artist's, uh, that was weird, an artist's loft, or an artist loft. Uh, it has like a little art studio, it's got a lot of custom content from The Sims Resource, so get it there. Lots of brick, I'm putting on right now, and the brick is also going to be on the inside, and it's going to be like an open plan, the only room in there is the bathroom. I don't have a screenshot of the bathroom because it just wasn't flattering enough for a picture. So if you um, want to download it, you can uh, have my username in the description below and I'll catch up with y'all later. I slowed down the video quite a bit from what I regularly do because I want the video to be more enjoyable to watch so you guys don't get like, I don't know, seizures or something from it going too fast. I just wanted to slow it down. Uh, screenshots, however, are going to be like the same speed as they always have been. So, and there's a lot of screenshots for this one and they're quite pretty. I like them. So, yeah. very minimal. I wanted there to be a bunch of flooring so it's more industrial looking because it's like a city loft kind of. Um, but I added the trees that light up that came with like the holiday update I believe. It was like free and everybody got it. He got an update from long ago. <laughs> and uh, so it's a pretty basic landscaping. Nothing too special. But once we're done with landscaping and the lights on the outside, I'll be heading onto the inside and doing all the inside stuff and you'll see all the custom content on the inside. It's like a lot just to take it all in and it makes it look really cool. So stick around. The entire top floor is like the where all the art is made, like the easels will be in a drawing board and where the bedroom is. And the bedroom isn't closed off, it's just on the top floor. The only room I told you that will be like closed in is the bathroom right there. That will be the bathroom. So yeah, and that is, uh, well the bathroom has a bunch of posters in it to give it kind of a lofty industrial art feel. You'll see that later though. to mix and match the carpet to create like a fake rug for the living room. Um, the living room has a bunch of custom content in it and a few of that would be all the seating areas including the thing from hanging from the ceiling, uh, and the thing behind the chair, the lamp, the coffee table, and the fireplace. And I later on have to add a wall to put in a TV because there just isn't much room. And underneath the wall I start out with string lights <laughs> and later on change them to wall decals of like arrow shapes. It's very interesting. This is going to be like the dining area where you'll set to eat most likely. Um, 
as you can see, I had like the table and then I had like a tablecloth from The Sims Resource as well. Um, it looked really cool. I don't think it like fits perfectly, but it fits enough to like believe what it is. Um, but yeah, and then that, that lamp or the ceiling lamp, whatever you call it, is also custom content in that painting. And I added some graffiti, thought it looked really cool with the theme that's going on. And I tried to change the flooring, but I decided to just stick with the wood. Why not? And now we're moving on to the kitchen. kitchen I had these uh, all the counters are custom content and including the cabinets on the top but you see those little jars the brown ones are freaking Nutella I have Nutella on the Sims guys and coca-cola and Pepsi and pizza you should have saw the pizza earlier on in the living room you can like go backwards to see that if you want um, I just thought it was cool See, there's another box of pizza, and there's just a lot of room to put a bunch of clutter. Uh, so, I did go custom shopping, custom content shopping for a lot of clutter to fill in all the cool spaces. It looks very realistic, and I love it. working on now is going to be like the hobby area where the computer will be, where the bookcase will be, just, you know, but the uh, rug and then there's going to be the coffee table on top of the rug to fill in this open space. I, it probably looks good right now just being left blank in the middle, but I felt like later on it needed something in the middle to spruce it up. I tried a piano. It was too big. Um, yeah and a bunch of graffiti and a bunch of posters and there's the coffee table adding string lights. Uh, during the screenshots, when I'm taking screenshots, I realize they're a little bit too high above the window, so I lower them down and then I save it onto the Sims 4 gallery so you won't have to move them down if you do download it and you do have the string lights from the Sims resource. Correct the window. Anyways, <laughs> um, so now we'll be moving upstairs where the art room is slash bedroom and the outside deck or you know, whatever you call the outside porch area it is also like an outside art studio as well. And right now I'm adding in a clock trying to figure out where the heck I should put it. And I put it down below in the kitchen. searching for a specific item, or I was, and then I came across the drawing board, but I was searching for that surface of all the paints and stuff that's already there by the easels. It took forever for me to look for that. Oh my. <laughs> and um, anyways, this will be the last time I talk to y'all, and it might be the last video I make before I head off to college. I think I might make one more video. I think I'm going to do a create a sim of like an artist, an artiste, and it will have custom content on it to make it look as artistic as possible um but i mean i also take suggestions if you guys have suggestions uh this won't be like my last video forever i just have to take a break because i have to focus on school and i have to focus on studying get good grades and all in all that's more important than making these videos for now uh i don't think they will be any less important than making these videos because school is school and yeah but there's the outside area and uh uh, like, subscribe, share with your friends, see all my other videos, I spent a lot of time making those, and to keep them entertained as I will not be making videos as often as I'd like, um, screenshots will be heading um, up soon, <laughs> and uh, we're putting in some finishing touches, fixing up some things, and I'll catch you in the next video when I make the next video.